opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. F3 supports the e4 pawn and controls the g4 square, but slightly weakens white's king side. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This moves the knight to safety. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. b7 develops the bishop toward the center and prepares castling. Qd2 develops the queen, supports the bishop on e3 and prepares queenside castling. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Queenside castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center and allows the rook to move to the c-file. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. This is a fair move. It is good. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a great move. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This overlooks a better way to move a knight to safety. It is an inaccuracy. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. It is a miss. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. That's fine. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This protects the attack knight. It is good. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. 